Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Red Moon Saloon. Um, your host, as always, uh, Gooch, aka Adware, aka Pink Mist, uh, coming straight at you. Got some good, good stuff for you today. Uh, we're gonna try and get into a Holy Paladin guide for uh, Patch 5.2, um, Mr. Pandaria expansion, of course. Um, we're gonna go through a lot of good information. While I just hang out here in front of Storm, or not Stormwind, Ironforge, my bad, home, home of the dwarfs. Um, we're going to go through uh, some key bindings, uh, some different enchants, uh, as, long as, as well as some gems, uh, what you should be doing when you're reforging items, uh, some macros, um, what different glyphs you might want to use, uh, some of the talents I use, and uh, also the add-ons I use, and how I generally... Uh, go about targeting when I'm in PvP. This is this is going to be mainly a PvP guide, um, so it's going to be a Holy Paladin PvP guide. Uh, we got a lot of interesting um, stuff to cover here, so I'll get started. I don't want it to be a long, drawn-out video, so it's mainly talents, glyphs, gems, macros. Um, I have a lot of key bindings, as you can see. I have um, all of these are key bound to uh, different talents and abilities. Um, for number one I have uh, Repentance, that's always good. Um, number two I have Hammer of Justice and then uh, three I have Holy Shock. Then I go with R here because it's real close to where my hands is naturally on the keyboard. Um, and then we go with Flash of Light for E. That's real close to uh, you know your WASD so it's real convenient. Then I go with F for Divine Light. And then, and then we have the uh, Mouse Button 1 which is uh, I use that uh, for my trinket. I currently have a different trinket. So, equip that real quick. I use that for my trinket. Then I have my middle mouse button. Uh, I use that for rebuke. Uh, it's real nice to have that as a hotkey so you can interrupt spellcasters. And then I have uh, for V, it's real close to the thumb by the space bar. I use that. Uh, uh, Holy Prism is that. Then I got B for my world of, word of glorious right next to. Uh, my holy prism hotkey down there by the space bar so it's really natural for me and then for my uh... mouse button two i have sacred shield and then for my q i have speed of light and then uh, i have a shift modifier as long as uh, as well as a control modifier for my hotkeys uh... for my shift modifier uh... hotkeys i have uh... shift one is hand of freedom uh... shift two is binding or blinding light and uh... shift three is stone form and then i follow the same format uh, as I did before, just with the shift modifier. So shift R is cleanse, um, shift E is divine protection, then you got shift F, which is divine shield, and then we have uh, we have uh, shift mouse button one as divine plea, and then we have shift looks like. Shift mount button, mouse button middle as lay as hand, lay of lay on hands. Ah, can't talk. And then we have uh, guardian of ancient kings as uh, shift V. Avenging wrath we have shift B. And then we have uh, mouse button two with the shift modifier as divine favor. And then we have shift Q as devotion aurora or aura. And then uh, the control modifiers I have uh, control one as judgment, control two as denounce, control three as holy radiance. And then we have the turn evil as can. Control R and then Control E is hand of protection. Control F, hand of sacrifice. And we got Control mouse button one is cleanse. Uh, control mouse uh, wheel click is a beacon of light. And then we have the uh, Control V as my second PVP trinket. And then we have Control B as uh, light of dawn, just in case we need to do some AOE healing in uh, any kind of battlegrounds. And then I have my blacksmithing. And uh, for control mouse button 2 and control Q is my smelting. So I've got a couple of professions in there. Um, so those are my key bindings. I, uh, I use those a lot. Which, uh, you know, there's a lot of them. It's, a lot of, it's, a lot of, it's more about muscle memory. So, um, you know, it's, it's fun. Uh, you gotta, you got to get the macros down so you know you're not a noob and clicking every time you're trying to do uh, you know BGs and stuff but as long as you get your uh, hotkeys down you should be opponent noobs before you know it uh, cause I mean if you're clicking a lot that's just not the way to go you're a noob so 
but if anybody had to say it, I guess it was me. Um, anyway, we're going to move on to enchants real quick. Um, the PvP enchants that I recommend are, uh, we have the Greater Crane Wing Inspection Inscription. Then we have, uh, for Cloak, we have the s Superior Intellect. That's, uh, plus 180 to Intellect for your Cloak. And then, uh, for Chest, we have Super Resilience, which is plus 200 to Resilience. Then we have Bracers, which is, uh, Super Intellect. Uh, uh, that's uh, plus 180 to intellect. And then we have for your gloves, we have uh, the enchants greater haste, which is uh, 170 to haste for your gloves. And then uh, for the belt, all you really have is the living steel belt buckle. You can get that from you know the auction house. Uh, if you're a blacksmith, you can get a living steel and create it yourself. And then for the legs, we have the uh, greater cerulean spell thread, however you say that. Um, that gives you. 285 the intellect and 165 the crit, which is good for you know the legs and chance. And then we have boots, uh, the Pandaren step. It's gonna increase your movement speed and uh, also increase your uh, mastery by 140. On the main hand, I recommend the Jade Spirit. Um, it's gonna give you a chance to sometimes proc uh, plus 1650 to intellect, and then you're gonna get the uh, the um, plus 750 to spirit. If you have, you know, 25% mana or less, which is nice. Uh, if you're low on mana, you get the spirit uh, buff. I'm not currently enchanted all the way out. I'm still working on that. Some enchants are still really expensive on my server. So, um, I'm trying to wait for them to come down a little bit. Um, hopefully they do. If not, I'll end up just wasting gold on it, I guess. And then for the offhand, the shield, you want to get major intellect. That's 165 to intellect. Uh, that's a great enchant for your shield. Um, so that's about it for enchants. Uh, as far as gems, um, you know, you have your meta, your prismatic, your blue, your red, and your yellow. Um, so for the meta, you want to go with the, uh, there's two choices here. You can either go with rival, uh, revitalizing primal diamond. Uh, that's going to give you 432 to spirit and a 3% increased critical effect chance. Um, or you could go with the forlorn primal diamond. That's going to give you a uh, plus 216 to intellect, and it's going to reduce your silence duration by 10%. Uh, That's the one that uh, I chose. Um, I like the intellect, so it'll help you out. I don't really have problems with spirit. I know I'm normally pretty good about uh, watching my mana, so I don't have problems there. And then for the prismatic. Um, there's two different ones you can go with there. You can get the Will Willful Verm Vermilion Onyx. It's going to add 80 to Intellect, uh, 160 to PvP Resilience. Um, that's the one I I uh, currently have. Um, I like that one a lot. You could stack PvP Resilience, of course, and go with the uh, the Mystic Sun's Radiance, which is going to add 320 to PvP Resilience, which is a, a good gem if you're trying to stack Resilience. And then uh, in your blue uh, sockets, you want to use the Mysterious... Imperial Amethyst, uh, that's going to give you 80 to Intellect or 160 to PvP power. Um, I'm not sure if I have any of those um, currently in my set. Uh, or you could use the uh, Vivid Wild Jade, that's going to give you 150 or 160 to PvP power and 160 to uh, PvP Resilience. I know I use that one, I, I gem that one a lot. Um, and as far as red sockets, you can go also with the uh, Mysterious Imperial Amethyst. Like I said before, it adds 80 intellect and 160 to PvP power. Um, or you could also use the uh, Willful Vermilion Onyx, which, like I said also before, that's plus 80 to intellect and 160 to PvP resilience. And then um, for your yellow sockets, you're going to want to use um, either the Willful Verm Vermilion Onyx again, which is... 80 intellect, 160 PvP resilience, or you can go ahead and use that Mystic Sun's Radiance, uh, which is going to add 320 to PvP resilience. Uh, I mainly use um, the PvP power and PvP resilience, which is uh, that's the Vivid Wild Jade. I also stack uh, PvP resilience, so I mainly gem for uh, PvP power, uh, PvP resilience, so. It's a little bit of intellect splash in there. Um, that's what I go with. I mean, you could have a different idea of what may need to be done or, you know, what you think is good, but this is what works for me. So that's pretty much what this guide's all about, like, uh, you know, giving you helpful tips, tips 
and uh, letting you know you know what what works for me so hopefully you can take those ideas and turn them into your own uh, next up is reforging um, currently I reforge uh, all my haste and mastery into crit I'm currently uh, reforging crit stacking crit uh, I feel like it gives me uh, big heals so I like the huge crits I like critting for you know getting 130 I like getting 130 thousand you know heals on certain heals just like crazy heals um, the second thing if the item has crit I always reforge uh, the spirit so so if it already has crit just reforge you know haste or mastery to spirit that's a, another thing that I do you can see that here on um, my helm I reforged mastery to spirit and then um, you can see like for instance uh, I reforged haste to crit here on my hands um, that's what I would recommend that's how I roll but like I said in my PvP spec I, I mainly uh, I stack resilience and crit I'm trying to be big heals while taking low damage that's my idea here um, so on from reforging uh, macros to tell you the truth I don't I don't use any macros um, some people, I mean, this, this guide's going to differ a little bit from some guides, uh, just because it's mainly my own personal preference. Uh, macros, a lot of people, you know, they have a lot of good macros out there. Um, I mean, I feel like with 36 hotkeys, I just really don't need a macro. Like, I know them so well that, like, I don't, I mean, it might give you a slight edge, but my muscle memory with these hotkeys is, is really good, so I feel like macros are they're not as important perhaps but a lot of people do use them I'm, they're just not for me I don't use them I've never really used them um, next on the agenda is glyphs we're gonna go ahead and talk about some glyphs here um, the glyphs that I use are um, the glyph with a divine protection um, it reduces your magical damage and uh, magical damage and your uh, physical damage both by 20 percent um, your divine protection would normally just reduce uh, magical damage by uh, forty percent, I do believe. But with this glyph, it, it splits it up into twenty percent damage and uh, twenty percent physical, or physical and then um, magical damage. So it's an even, you know. I'd rather have that because if I'm going up against a caster and getting owned by like a melee, it, it's going to help me both ways. So. It's kind of an even mitigation for both magical damage and physical protection, or physical damage. And then I have the Glyph of the Blessed Life. Um, this gives you a 50% chance to gain a charge of holy power uh, whenever you get stunned or feared or immobilized, which is great. Because I feel like if I already have like one or two holy power stacked and I get feared, a lot of people will hit you with some sort of immobilizing effect, a stun or a fear, and then they'll try and blow you up. So I feel like you know right when I get out of the the immobilizing effect if I have a charge of holy power I can use that to maybe quick spam some heals so that's good and then I have the glyph of the flash of light um, I don't use flash of light too much because it takes out a lot of mana but it's it's more of like a an oh shit heal um, when your flash of light target uh, it increases your next uh, heal done to that target within seven seconds by ten percent so if you're spamming flash of light on somebody who's going down, it's an extra 10% buff, uh, you know, 10% heal that's going to maybe keep them alive. So I like that one as well. As far as the, uh, the minor glyphs, uh, in 5.2 they don't really matter, they don't do anything, they just do cool shit. Um, you know, like adds a glow to your paladin's mount, like it's not really going to affect any kind of gameplay, so there's no real sense in needing to go over them. Um, let's see here. Now on to talents. This is probably um, probably really controversial. A lot of people have different opinions on the talents. Um, me myself, I went with what I know, what sounds good. Um, for the first tier, I went with the speed of light. It's going to increase your movement speed 70% for eight seconds. My thing is about speed of light is I like having a controllable speed burst. Um, I like I like to know when I'm gonna go fast and um, and with clemency um, you know you're gonna be able to get out of any kind of snare two times because it's gonna allow you to use your hand of freedom twice not once but twice so 
if you get snared, you can use your hand of freedom. If you get snared, use your hand of freedom again. And, you know, you're getting away from potential people trying to down you with, like, burst DPS or something like that. Um, so, the other ones are kind of good, too. Long Armor of the Law. It'll only give you the speed increase uh, with a judgment. So, I don't really like that because if you're stunned or something like that and you need to get out of there, like, there's no way you're going to judge or use a judgment on anybody. But some people prefer it, not me. Uh, and then the Pursuit of Justice gives you that 15% movement speed at all times. And then an additional 5% on movement speed uh, on your mount. Uh, or for each holy charge or holy power. Um, I don't really like that either. Um, like I said, I like, having, I like having the controllable speed burst. So that, that wasn't really good for me. For my second chair, I used uh, Repentance. Um, it's going to immobilize the target, you know, incapacitating them for up to a minute. I chose this one because um, with an experienced player, you can. Uh, you can lock down a caster, you know, and then it also gives you two stuns because you have Repentance and then you have the Hammer of Justice granted, so a minute cooldown, uh, Repentance, you know, has a 15 second cooldown, so you can, you know, spam it and lock down, you know, locks, mages, any kind of caster, so that's the way I like it, is having two stuns, so I like utilizing Repentance. I mean, Fist of Justice is nice. It increases your stun for six seconds, stuns the target for six seconds, and it reduces the cooldown, I'm sorry. But I feel like the cooldown, you know, 30 second cooldown is not that important. I'd rather have two, uh, you know, two CCs rather than just one improved one. Um, and then the Burden of Guilt, uh, it's going to increase your, uh, your judgment, fills you with, uh, it's going to reduce movement speed. Um, I don't feel like that's really important. I mean, it might if you were ret. But, I mean, I'm not going to be trying to slow anybody down healing anybody, so that's why I didn't choose that one. And then for the third tier, uh, this is probably the um, most de de debatable tier. I went with Sacred Shield because it does it's so good and not a lot of people even know it. Um, the thing about Sacred, Heal, or Sacred Shield is uh, it absorbs 20,270 damage every 5.75 uh, seconds. So over that 5.75 seconds, that's going to tick five times. So if it's healing you for 20,270, uh, you know, 5 ticks, that's 104,725 damage that is going to be absorbed. That's 104k damage, almost 105k damage. That's huge. And then if you cast that on yourself, uh, when, you, when you're illuminating heal procs, that's, you know, that's potential for almost 170k, you know, hit points absorbed. That's huge. Yeah, I mean, that's a spell that absorbs, you know, 170k damage, which is huge. And um, not a lot of people, you know, look at it like that. They, you know, they want to go with that heal and then heal over time with Eternal Flame, which I don't, I wouldn't, I mean, that's good, but I mean, I feel like I have enough offensive healing spells to where I don't need Eternal Flame. And then Selfless Healer, um, you know, I, I just don't, uh, I don't like it, how it improves the judgments, you know, the cast time, and it's, it's more of like a, I don't know, flash of light reducing the mana cost, like, Sacred Shields is too good not to go with it. Um, so for the fourth tier here, I went with Clemency. Like I said before, um, you can pair that up with uh, your Speed of Light, Hand of Freedom. It gives you two, you know, you can use your Hand of Freedom twice. So, I mean, it, it gives you, you know, two times where you can get out of in, uh, movement impairing uh, effects. So, I mean, why would you not spec into Clemency? And then um, for the fifth tier, I went with Divine Purpose. Um... For one, it procs so much. Uh, I feel like pa uh, Holy Pallies don't need any more cooldowns, so um, it's uh, nice to spam Wog with this, so your Divine Purpose procs, and you can, you know, just keep spamming Word of Glory with that. Um, it's just really nice to have. The Sanctified Wrath, um, I really don't use a whole lot of uh, Holy Shocks too much. I mean, it really reduces the cooldown of Holy Shock, which is nice. I use it, but not enough to spec in the sanctified wrath and for a holy avenger um i'm not really into like the offensive damaging kind of uh holy pally um pretty much rely on my other partners to do a lot of the damage so i don't really need any, any additional damage uh but it does increase you know the healing but you got to generate three charges to even use it so i feel like Overall, divine purpose is going to be, you know, a little bit better. Um, for the s sixth tier, or wait, one, two, three, four, five, so yeah, sixth tier, 
uh, I went with the Holy Prism. Uh, the reason why I went the Holy Prism, it does, uh, you know, it does pretty, uh, a ton of damage. It's got a low cooldown. It has loads of healing, and it, you can think of it as like a mini Holy Shock, um, which is really nice. And it's instant. It's only got a 20 second cooldown. So you can spam, you can, you can spam Holy Shock. You can spam Holy Shock, you know, a lot. And then, I mean, Holy Prism, you can spam Holy Prism a lot. So you don't even, you know, it's it's a nice mini holy shock. Um, lost my train of thought there for a second. Almost almost got interrupted. Um, let's see here. Uh, the lights hammer. I don't really uh, I don't really mess with that a whole lot. Um, I just like the holy prism. I like how it's got the low cooldown, uh, tons of healing, like a mini shock. You can incorporate it into your healing rotation, which is you know what I do. So that that's pretty much a bit about it for the talents. Um, there's a lot of them. You're gonna have your own opinions. You're gonna you're gonna think you know, you know what works best for you. This is what works best for me. I like it a lot. Um, so that's what I use. And then um, so now to my add-ons. I only use two add-ons. I use Gladius and Interrupt Bar. I can't see my Gladius right now. Um, I'm not in any kind of arena. So um, those are just two nice add-ons to have. The Interrupt Bar is gonna show you you know. Uh, what classes are to use or interrupt and the cooldown of that and then the gladius just gives you a nice display of uh, you know your enemies and their health bar and you know percentages and stuff like that it's like a monitoring it lets you keep tabs on you know the other team's health and you know valuable information that you might need about them uh, during like an arena or battleground um, so after the add-ons I have um, targeting um, I only have three main buttons that I, you know, use for targeting. I use tab to target any kind of enemy, um, so you can tab through enemies with that. And then for targeting uh, your nearest friendly uh, target, I have scroll up, so I'm gonna scroll to my nearest uh, friendly, and you know, to start spamming heals on them. And then scroll down, I have for the previous friendly target. So if I pass somebody up, I can come back down to them and you know, spam heals there. So. Overall, um, I would try to use those targetings, but I mean, like I said before, it's your own personal preference there, so, uh, that's always good when you get those down, though, so you can, uh, change targets really, really quickly and then tap through enemies in case you have to go on, like, more of an offensive, uh, and maybe do some damaging spells in your holy spec. Um, the main buffs I use, uh, I, of course, you want to use your Seal of Insight, and you want to use, uh, you know, your Beacon of Light. Put that on the person you're going to be spamming heals on the most. Uh, worst case scenario, you can put it on yourself. You're going to uh, get heals kicked back down to you, whoever, you know, you heal. If you heal the, uh, like, say, one of your players, the heals are going to kick back on you. Uh, and then, you know, you just get your Blessing of Kings, which is pretty standard as a Holy Pally. So... Overall, those are my ideas, and uh, hope you guys liked it. Uh, my Holy Pally guide. It's more of a PvP guide, you know. Covered some key binding, some enchants, uh, some gems, uh, reforging, uh, macros, glyphs, talents, and add ons. And then I gave you a couple tips for targeting. Uh, hopefully, soon I'll be making a gameplay video that'll kind of throw all this together and, uh, you know, explain the concept that I, the concepts that I've discussed here. So. Maybe I'll show you some of the Mac or uh, some of the uh, hotkeys that I explained. Um, so you know, hopefully, uh, look look out for that in the near future, and um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed my Holy Paladin guide. Um, hopefully, it's informative, and you you can get your own ideas and uh, come up with your own uh, specs and you know your own talents and key bindings. But so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. Uh, if you like the video, just go ahead and uh, give it a like, and uh, always remember to subscribe to the Red Moon Saloon channel. Uh, we really love getting on and seeing a lot of views and more subs, so um, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, take care.